the practice of meditation. Meditation may be the most misunderstood part of spiritual practice. Nearly everyone has an idea about it, but few understand what it really is. In yogic terms, meditating is proceeding from concentration, dharna, to meditation, dhyan, to absorption, samadhi. Concentration is that primary ability to focus your attention on one thing. Meditation is sustained, one-pointed concentration. Absorption occurs when the meditator, the process of meditation, and the goal of meditation are revealed to be one. The final goal, goal of meditation is liberation, which means becoming pure subject. Most of us already meditate without knowing it. We can only accomplish most things through sustained concentration, which is a kind of meditation, though outwardly focused. When we lose ourselves in an activity, we are meditating with some success. Unfortunately, we are meditating in the wrong direction for spiritual practice. What we really want to do is lose our small selves in pure consciousness. We become what we meditate on, so where we direct our attention is even more important than the act of concentrating itself. All meditation is not equal. Like any other practice, meditation has to progress over time through consistent hard work. You will have to refine and strengthen your skills of meditation in order to go deeper. A useful analogy here is baseball. Learning to meditate is like playing Little League. You learn to throw, catch, hit, and run. If you stick with the game, you will continue using the same skills but sharpen and strengthen them. High school baseball requires more of you and only those players who have the ability and discipline to keep honing their game will play in college or beyond. Even in the major leagues, the same skills are essential and players constantly work on fundamentals even as they perform at the highest level. Beginning meditation, the kind often taught at workshops and retreats, is simply learning how to concentrate. The focus may be on the breath, thoughts, emotions, or sensations in the body, but these objects of concentration are all superficial. There are benefits to this kind of concentration. People function more efficiently, handle stress better, and free themselves from distractedness. But those byproducts are not the true goal. Above all, meditation is not a thought process. It doesn't happen in the psychic instrument. True mindfulness is not sitting and watching your thoughts. Who, after all, is doing the watching? Concentration is the starting point. Most of us like to think of ourselves as being able to concentrate, but we actually spend most of our time distracted, racing from one thought form to another. Examine your own mental activity for five minutes and you will see a circus of distractions. Sitting and watching that chaotic activity will get you nowhere spiritually. If anything, you will become more agitated, and boredom is just one way of being agitated. Once you've learned to concentrate, you will have to change the nature of your concentration. You will have to focus on more subtle objects with subtler forms of attention. At this more refined level, the byproducts change as well. You gain insight, suppleness of mind, more freedom from outer vehicles, and a greater sense of inward stability. But you will still be using the lower mind. After a good deal of practice, you can reach the deepest levels of meditation. At this point, you let go of your small self and rest in the heart. There isn't anyone to do sadhana anymore. There is only consciousness. The deepest meditation is a state of purpose, of perfect stillness and freedom.